Hey there, uh, welcome back to Manward. I'm Alex. I'm Andy. And uh, today we're going to be talking about brokerages. Again, it was one of our most popular videos that we did last year, uh, best online brokerages that you can use. Uh, today we're going to issue a few updates, talk about some news in the sector, and uh, possibly even uh, shuffle our rankings just a bit. All right, so first let's talk about sort of the biggest news in the uh, industry at the moment, which is uh, Morgan Stanley buying E-Trade. Yeah. That's a, that's a pretty big title The shift. rich buy the poor. <laughs> yeah, that's, I think that's how it works. Andy, in your view, why uh, why would Morgan Stanley buy E Trade? What what what's the point of this uh, this purchase? Sure, I mean we can talk about the, the business strategy and, and almost the demographic strategy of it all. So E Trade is kind of the every man's uh, the brokerage, you know, uh, younger investors, beginner investors. The average E Trade account is worth around uh, seventy thousand. Yeah, and and Morgan Stanley on the other hand is nine hundred thousand. Yeah, that's my. That's just mostly my account. Yeah, he skews it way off to the right. But no, so Morgan Stanley is. is is the, the, the more robust, uh, richer platform, for lack of better words. Um, and E-Trade, again, is that everyman platform. So uh, Morgan Stanley reached out. They want to tap into that, build that wealth. From a business perspective, it has to do with the fact that everybody's going to uh, zero-fee trades. They're using E-Trade and, and all the cash that's in there kind of as leverage and, and, and as a bank, but they're using this almost as a way to get more money cheaply to fund other things. And that's just the way the brokerage business works. Yeah. I mean, it's a smart move for them. They're casting a wider net. They're going to have access to a whole bunch more clients, and, and hopefully they make those clients richer, and, and that Push just them adds. through their funnel. And so, yeah, you mentioned commission-free trading. I think all of this ties into that huge title shift that happened in the industry just a few years ago. You know, Robinhood hit the scene. Everybody loves Robinhood, especially beginning traders, uh, because it gave them a chance to invest without having to have that $6 or $7 yeah. uh, trading fee. Just totally kicked off a wave of mergers, acquisitions, uh, business strategy changes. It's really cool to watch and it's been fascinating to watch it unfold. It's great news for the average investor. Yeah, I mean, the, the sort of amusing thing is that we have uh, certain presidential candidates right now who have, uh, threaten isn't the right word, but they've suggested that they would like to add a tax, uh, an annual tax for <laughs> investors, whether they're cashing in or out of investments, which is kind of funny because basically you could have next year uh, the state taxing Robin Hood. Yeah, I don't think it's funny. I think it's kind of stupid. Yeah, so I mean, going back to E-Trade, you know, uh, on the business side, it means something. What does it mean for, you know, E-Trade customers? In a word, nothing. You know, so E-Trade is still going to be E-Trade. Morgan Stanley is going to be Morgan Stanley. So if you're a customer, you don't have to expect anything to change. Yes, yeah, so, but I think what this all highlights is the fact that trading is, is currently cheaper than it's ever been. It makes now the perfect time to start investing if you don't already. With that in mind, let's kind of take a look back uh, at our previous ranking and uh, and maybe issue some updates to that. Because I, um, I, I think that we got some good questions uh, in regard to our last video on the subject, and, and we have a couple updates there. Yeah, I think most people, they wanted to know the difference between, you know, with brokerages, long-term and short-term. If they're a mm. short-term trader, are our rankings the same as they would be for, for long-term? Last time we looked at long-term investing, so now let's look at the short-term side of things. Previously, we ranked uh, TD Ameritrade as number one. Uh, we had E-Trade smack in the middle. Uh, we had Robinhood kind of actually pulling up the rear uh, due to you know just some of the limitations yeah. with their with their uh, platform. Let's kind of dive into Robinhood since we're talking about it. You know? Sure. For short-term, if you're just into equity investing, sure. I don't think it's the most robust platform by, by any stretch. To me, it's it's the the better side of Robinhood is on the, the long term, um, especially if you if you're using it for research, um, you know, options that sort of thing. If you're looking for a robust research platform that gives you lots of uh, option options, mm. that's not it. You can do better than that. Now, you know, it's E Trade uh, gets to the to the top when it comes to short term and, and specifically options. Just a much more robust platform. Again, it's free, and even you know, using its its options platform, it tells you dates to watch for. Um, it has a good P and L section, you know, t giving you the odds of, of profit and loss on on various option trades, spreads, that sort of thing. Just easy to use. Some of the other platforms have, uh, like, like TradeStation. We didn't look at TradeStation uh, last time, but this time I think we need to add it in for short term and, and for options because it does give some more robust research and, again, uh, charting 
things. It gives like 3D charts, that sort of thing. Nothing that you really need. It's fancy, it looks nice, but it's nothing all that great. It's a little bit more complicated. Um, it has some robust offerings, which why you know it kind of puts it in the, in the middle of our, our rankings now. Um, where last time we didn't really talk about it. It's kind of the hardcore traders platform. Really. Exactly, yeah. And then, you know, when we get into the, the real, like the professional grade, that's where interactive brokers comes from. So we talked about that a little bit last time. We talked about it being a little more complicated last time. But now if you're thinking short-term or options and you really want to get into it, I think, you know, the uh, for a margin account with interactive brokers, it's a hundred grand. So it, it's definitely for the for the upper echelon of, of traders, almost on the, the professional level. Um, so you know, if, if we just had to rank short term your options, it's it's E Trade, Trade Station, and then interactive brokers, and in, 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 in that order. And those three really are are beginner, intermediate, and professional. So if you yeah. think about it that way, that's how you go through it. Yeah, and I think uh, just putting putting E Trade against again, you know, Robinhood, you know, up top. I know. A lot of people like Robinhood. A lot of the people watching this video who maybe are new to investing like Robinhood, um, and and it's good for exactly that. It's like your super beginner platform. But E-Trade really offers you uh, so much more in terms of uh, choosing your options. You have a lot more available to you. I mean, if you go on Robinhood and you go to trade an option, it'll literally ask you, "Do you think this stock's going to go up or go down?" Where E-Trade, if you're a beginner, uh, very beginner, never made a trade, never made an equity trade, stock trade, option trade, whatever, it. You can start there, and E Trade you can you can build your knowledge up through it. You know you can get up into that almost a professional side with it. So that's largely about options. Do you think short term stock trading? Does do the same rules apply? Same rules, yeah, yeah for sure. Um, focusing more on the options side, but E Trade the 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 stock side, the equity side exactly the same. All right, so you know, last time we spoke, we were talking about long-term trading, uh, and we gave TD Ameritrade uh, the, the top spot. I think we, we still stand by that. For sure. Um, but on the short term, you know, we have a newcomer, a, a challenger in the ranks here. Uh, we have E-Trade coming in there. So for short-term and options traders, you know, E-Trade is probably going to be your best bet. For long-term trading, you, you really can't beat uh, TD Ameritrade. Yeah, so this is just a, a broad overview of, you know, many different platforms. Let us know in the comments if you want us to look, you know, take an in-depth look at at a specific brokerage platform, we'll do that. We'll create a whole series looking through all of them. So let us know which ones you want us to look at and we'll get it done. All right, so, so we've gone over our rankings. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, you know, just whatever you do, just get started. Yeah. You know, give, give one of these guys a try. Uh, even if it is Robin Hood, you know, it, it couldn't be easier to, to, you know, give trading a shot. Yeah, I like that. I'll toast to that. All right. Get started. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, if you missed our long-term uh, brokerage review, uh, go ahead and check that video out. We'll put, we'll put a link over here. And uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, really help us out. And uh, if you don't already get it, uh, be sure to sign up for our free daily digest. There's a link in the description below. Thanks.